Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. That's keeping up here. It's moving all of the stone out of the way, which means that all of the ore is moving out of the way. Just keeping this going, which is then in turn going to allow the iron here to flow. Right. There's definitely improve there's there's improvements that need to be made across the board on this map. Like we've got issues everywhere, but mostly with sort of it it a lot of this is all about the firefighting situation. We we need to like keep fighting the fires. I need more steel coming in. Now I do actually have another supply of steel. I've got all of this over here, and the majority of that is focused on steel production, except that it's not. It's now all focused on this, and this is completely blocked up. So this whole thing has ground to a halt. I may have steel here, but I can't do anything with it. So this is going to have to wait. I guess I could put a request for steel, but if I put a request for steel, this one here is the one that will supply the request for steel. So the only way round that, because I have got steel requests on this side of the map, which is kind of why I wanted to have it, I've either got to bring a belt with steel on it from over this side, or I've got to kind of rebalance things a little bit so that I have one steel production. I don't really want just one steel production. It's not going to work well for me. Uh, I've got drums coming in here. That seems to be working all right. What about this bit up here? We had issues with drums up here. Yeah, we've... That's got a rebalance. That's working on that as well. I'd say we want to start turning some of this into landfill. I mean, I've got this much stone because... I'm gonna want stone. I know that I do eventually want it. I guess what we'll do then is we will just go back over there and plonk down a couple more warehouses. Five warehouses right there. So if I go and grab a little bit of iron on my way over, I can make a load more warehouses and we can stick down another five or six of them over there and that's just gonna keep us out of mischief for a little while, isn't it? We have a little bit of confusion here with how this one's laid out, but everything goes into this one, and then some of it goes into that one and goes into there, so that it can be removed by robots later on. We have more that travels down here and down here, and then heads over this way, so it's these six are all heading into there. Then I've got three extras that are over this way, which are moving away from that one, and they're just sort of going off on their own. So what I think we're going to do in order to put a bit of balance into this, well, first of all, we're going to go in here, and we are going to make sure we can keep going with our research, heading towards our long-range bombardment, although, you know, any robotics stuff would be good. Uh... Exoskeleton equipment. Let's go with the actual exoskeleton equipment. We'll do that. We'll go with that one. Start research. There you go. And then we can worry about the, the other stuff in a bit. So, yeah, this right here, what I'm thinking is... Slight adjustments. What we'll do is if I bring a belt here and I take that one over to that point right there and then there'll be another one over here, I will take that bit there, we'll go copy just those like that and I'll paste them in there and then I'll load them in myself. But by having the copy on there, it's essentially giving me the right settings for the inserters. That's all. That's all I wanted from that. And 
drop that in like that. So now it's going to go up onto this bit over here. So it's, it's just fired it up a little bit. It's very quickly going to choke it back up again. There we go. It's all completely stopped once more. So we still need this to actually be able to run. Now, those three are actually just in the way of this. But where there's a will, there's a way. So we're going to remove that one and that one and that one, just to start with. We're then going to take this one. Uh, you've got too much stuff in there in order to be able to do anything. So, really, I probably shouldn't have just removed those. What I was actually thinking was to pop one of these down, and then we can use that one to kind of, like, bridge this little gap here. We can do that, actually. We can put this one over to here, and it can come out there, and then I can do the same over there, like that. We can then pop down this one right here and I can put one two here one two just here like this I will pick up these four inserters on here then I will place back down that one and that one to join them back together again I will also put two of these down so that we've got some charging stations on here we're going to want power and power and power Right, now got material moving into that one. These here, we're going to rotate these round. Like that, and we're going to do the same with these four. They're rotating round, and we're going to do the same with these. Like that. So now all material goes into this one and then into that one and over to here or down to this one over here, over here. And it's heading over towards that storage right there. So everything is over. So far, I've got one extra warehouse, which on the grand scheme of things that we've got right here is really not very much at all. So I'm going to get rid of you and you and you and you and you. I'm just going to open up a little bit of a gap in here for a minute. And then I'm going to place down a couple more of these. So I want that one to go there. And I want one to go there. And right now, how am I going to do this? So I kind of want to move this around here a little bit. Got that robo port right there is in the way. And so these down here. But what we can, we can remove this. I can get rid of that one and that one. And we can also get rid of those as well, which means that I've now got room to go and place down a few more of these. Now, I'm not going to keep them even. I'm going to move this one over as far as I can over this way. And it's going to go there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of one in between several of these. I'm going to move them out like that. So I've got just enough room to do this. So I'll get rid of that and that. And then I can place down another one of these. There's not a lot of room in between these, but that's fine, because then this one's going to come over here. It's going to go up by one, and then I'm going to go here with this one. And that one is going to go right there. And I'm going to get rid of that. And this last one is going to go there, like that. Okay, so now I've got a whole load of extras Next, we're going to go and put back several of these. So we're going to put a few along here at the bottom of this line. They're going to come along like that, just so that I've got a connection going all the way through like that. I also want to connect that one in. So I'll just drop that up to there like that and then I'm going to want to have power on this as well which can go there like that and that's going to repower that one and that's going to then allow it to join back into the network I'm going to put another bit over here so that it is connected into the network and then I'm going to also put in a few of these although I'm going to put those in afterwards I don't have to have them in right now. We can just sort of add them in 
in a bit later on. So what we can do now is if I go and take one, two in out, I'm only going to do this in twos. I'm just going to put pairs of inserters in like this. So that one's going to come over to there and one, two over here. And then we can put one, two on each of these all the way along here and then the last two will go there moving up into that so i've now got everything coming around in a great big loop and i have got a massively increased amount of storage on here there is a huge amount of storage that we have now got in here which is absolutely fan schmastic i just need to have one down there put one up there and one over here in the middle there we go right we have now got an obscene amount of storage in here for this stone none of it will actually show up on our records but we have got it and then we can extract it out of there um a little bit at a time as and when we need it so next i just want to put in a few of these just dotted around Purely so that we've got plenty of charging stations for robots who are traveling in the area. And that's the main reason that we had them here before anyway. So we'll put one down there like that. Uh, that's probably enough. Really need lots more of those. Let's just stick one down over there as well, shall we? Right. There's that bit fired up, which means that this is all fired up as well, which means that the steel production that we've got over here is also now fired up. And we've got a bit of copper coming off over here. That's also being used, which is good. Uh, where is that coming out? I've got this coming in here, and it's going in through there. Hmm. What am I doing with that copper? Let's have a look. I've got the copper coming out over here. It's running down to there and then... Oh, it's just going into that one. I've got all this storage for the copper. I'm kind of thinking that we need to do something with that. But then I've also got a lot of storage for copper over here as well. Or do I? Copper ore. No, I don't actually. I don't have that much storage for copper ore. I mean, I've got a bit of copper ore coming in, but I don't really have a lot of storage for it. I've got copper plates in here. Thinking that maybe we need to be expanding the amount of copper that we're producing. Well, anyway, that's not really important right now. So we've got... That bit up there is now all done. So I've got the steel, which means that I can have, with confidence, a steel request coming in. Do I actually want a steel request coming in to this over here? Because we've got a steel supply right there. Now this is coming in and making steel down here. Do I... I'm sort of thinking that... Yeah, I mean, more steel would be good. I mean, really, the only way to get it across there is to go via a belt. Belt is probably the best bet. I mean, I don't really want to go taking iron from this. Because the iron is already being used up. Like, I am using a vast quantity of the iron that we're already producing. Maybe I just need to be going around and upgrading my iron production facilities. Because these aren't running fast enough, I don't think. That's not really running fast enough. I got two blast furnaces running off of this. And I think I need to double that up. But I don't have the room for it or do i maybe we do have the room to upgrade this because i mean i've got that bit coming in there and then down here i've got this coming through 
I got the iron coming up to this stage right here, which then travels across, moves up to here. Alright, I think the next thing that we want to do is upgrade that bit. I've got iron over this side, which we're using, but I'm kind of, like, I'm reluctant to bring that all the way back through. I want to be able to keep using the iron. I'd have to bring a belt across on that anyway, and I'm not sure that would work very well, because if I didn't use a belt to bring that across, I'd have to bring it from back where I've got my first lot. And I don't want to do that. Which means that i got to bring it from over this way. I guess I could do an iron request and bring some of that back. But again, I don't want to do that either. So iron is prioritizing from up here. So I've got plenty of iron coming in through this way. I've also got iron coming down through all of this system here. And then ultimately ending up right in here. Now, it's kind of keeping that running full, but it's not really keeping it running full. And part of the problem is that I'm not keeping the belt running full over here. Now, it might help, I suppose, if I was to put a belt balancer on here. So we will do that. I have got something here that we could use to belt balance already. So if I was simply to remove that one... I can put a belt down that way, and I can put a belt up that way, and I can go here and here, and then we've got a belt balancer. Which should be a little bit better. It will allow a little bit more of the iron to come on out, but again, do I even have enough iron here? I'm not sure that I do. And this is why I am looking at this and thinking that perhaps we could increase what we do right here. So, if I was to double this up, and... Yeah? Right, we've got 12, 4, and 2. So let's let's just do that. Let's, let's uh, roll those out immediately. We'll roll them out right here. We've got titanium sponges and stuff up there. Uh, we're not going to worry about those at the moment, so I'm going to want a blast furnace. Now, that is the level 3 stuff up there, which we're not going to worry about, so we'll just go with these. So there's two blast furnaces right there, which we're going to go with, one and two, and I'm going to go into here, and we're going to go with four induction furnaces, one, two, three, four, and then we want 12 casting machines 5, 10, 11, 12, like that. Induction furnace, casting machine. There's the blast furnace up there. Putting this little system down is not actually too much of a problem. I can... I'm going to put it down here, like either side of the oxygen pipe. I can sit right there and go just one each side of it like that that's no problem at all and then that can feed onto a belt so the exoskeleton equipment is now done that's fantastic let's just have a look in here at the actual exoskeleton stuff uh logistics is it yes it is it's under logistics motor four What's motor four? Angel's components. I'm a bit concerned about motor four. Uh, that needs a motor four block. That needs a motor four casing. Which isn't even on this list. Rubber motor four casing. That's a casting component. That would be in here, won't it? Motor 4 casing needs molten titanium. So we're going to have titanium to be able to make that thing anyway. So let's not concern ourselves with it just for a minute. We want to stroll down through this list here. Artillery, artillery, artillery is the one that we want. It's that advanced cobalt smelting is the next item on our list. 
So while that is thinking about what it wants to do, we're going to go here. So I want to be able to have a belt coming out of the back of this one, which would be one gap, two gap, uh, three gap, like that. Only this one is going to go here, like this. Uh, that one's going to rotate round. Now I've got four. All right, I'll take that one out then, and I'm going to have to make another one, because I just picked up that one, induction furnace. Uh, yeah, all right, I need to make another one of those. Which means I also need to get rid of that one and make another one of those. There. Okay, so... That's got to go up like that, so the pipe can run to the outside, which means that I need to have this on the inside, which means that that pipe right there is in the wrong place. It's not going to fit here, is it? It will fit. I just need to go and get a little tiny bit of landfill to help us out. Let me run down here. Where have I put landfill? I think this is the closest one. So we'll take a little bit of a jolly on down this way. And we will go one, two, three, like that. And we'll take a little bit of a jolly up this way. And weave in and out on this lot. We have 600 landfill right here, which should be enough to change the face of our world right here. If I run all the way along over there, that's left 450. I will get some robots bringing a few bricks over to this bit. It's 324. So if I go out by two, I should be able to do a section like this, which will give me more than enough room to do everything that I want to do. Put that onto there. That leaves me with 48 bits of landfill left. I'm going to go and put those back. I got this here just slowly, continuously producing for this in here. I mean, it is burning off the excess hydrogen there the oxygen is just being used it's not being burned off but these two with the slag in them they're full we need to do something about that and that's actually relatively simple if i put down can't put anything in between so i'll just put one there like that and then if i go uh, I go here and here like this, and then I can have the collection point put up to here, and I can have that collection point put down to there. They will start loading into here, and then I'm hoping robots will eventually be able to come over and take stuff. Yes, they're all part of the main system. Right, that means I can get rid of you, and I can make another induction furnace. How many times am I going to have to rebuild these things? And now I've got a little bit of space that I can put away from down there, which is good. So I want to come out by two, three, like that. This one is going to go up to there, and then it's going to turn round. I'm going to go one, two, three, like that. So I'm going to have two of these side by side right there and then I can put pipes coming out of them. I'm also going to go into the map a minute and we're going to uh, we're going to go into here, I'm going to go to brick paving like this and then I'm going to pave that lot over with bricks right there. I filled this up with landfill up here, I'm also going to go over this side and I'm going to fill that bit there up with bricks. And it's going to go all the way up here like this. And I'm actually going to go that high. And then I'm going to run bricks all the way over to there. Okay, so we've got a loop of bricks that runs around the outside edge. 
now, just filling in a few extras, and the robots can carry on and do that, and they will be very, very happy in their work. I'm also going to need now to redirect this line of coal, although it's already redirected up to this point, which means I don't have very far that I've actually got to take it. This one is going to go... Uh, why have I got an odd number? I hate it when I have odd numbers on these. Really bugs me when I have an odd number. I was doing some build... Uh, Probably down where I was doing the stuff with the steel. We'll deal with that in a minute then. And then I can go over to there. This one is going to go to that point. It's then going to turn and then it's... Oh, I've only got one gap in between these. Actually, that's going to be alright because this one can go all the way up to there. No, it can't. Well, that's a dilly of a pickle. All right, fine. You can't do that. So what you're going to have to do instead, then, is you're going to have to go over to this point. And then you're going to go from there up to there, just like that. So that's not going to get in the way of anything. But what it will allow me to do is... Actually, I do want to do one more here. I want to just take that up by one further. I can then put an inserter in here, and I can put an inserter in here. So this collection point is going to be over to the side there, like that. And this collection point here is going to be over to the side like that there. So we've now got those picking up on the sides. I can put a power pole in here and here, like that, and that's already starting to load. I'm going to go in here for a recipe. We're going to be making iron ingots in this one. Going to do the same recipe in there. I want to go to this one. And I want molten iron in there. And so we'll do the same recipe on the other three. So far, so good. We've got everything connected up to that point. I'm then going to want to have an inserter or two running in here. So we'll have those two and we'll go here and then we'll also go here. So I've got four inserters on each of them just to keep that going extra fast. You go up here by two and then that belt will run along this way over to here. And then we go up there like that. I put a power pole in there, and I put a power pole in there. Oops. Drop off needs to be down that way. Why aren't you working? Oh! I got that the wrong way round. Collection needs to be there. Drop-off needs to be down there. My bad. Right. Those two in there are absolutely fine. And then we come up here with a belt that turns to this direction. And Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.